Diane in Denmark here. A week ago, I showed you how to make Christmas, um, Danish Christmas snaps, Yule snaps. And let, let me just get mine to show you if you haven't already made yours. Hold on. Here we are. Uh, and if you made it along with me, remember to give it a shake. Um, you can see my, my one is coming along nicely. There we go. And I remember to shake mine when I've done my weekly home blessing on a Monday. Anyway. That, that, that was a Christmas stats I did. And I said, you know, I know, I know it's kind of far too early to be talking about Christmas just yet, but next month we will be doing the Fly Lady cruising through the holidays. And if you've never done that before, please, uh, please join us for that because what it is is just getting ready for the holidays and we're doing it, you know, in a timely fashion and we're doing it in baby steps. You know, we're not getting overwhelmed with the gifts that you've got to buy and the cookies that you've got to make and the decorations and the cleaning of the house. It's all kind of broken up into little uh, baby steps, little chunks so that come December, you can actually enjoy it and be glad and, you know, sing the carols and uh, drink your homemade snaps and be merry and joyful and all that. Anyway, to get back to what I wanted to discuss today, I've got the timer running, so don't worry, I'm not going to speak for too long. Uh, a couple of weeks ago on Instagram, I posted that I had uh, got this book for myself. Uh, I, I love Andrea Camilleri. And once a year, twice a year, there's a, um, an Eng a new English translation. And these are, you know, my favorite. I, I don't normally buy books. I get all my books from the library. But these ones and ones by Simon Brett, these are the only two that I can kind of collect. And I think this is like number 21 or 22 in the series. Anyway, I, I mentioned on Instagram that I had got this book. And this book is going to be a gift to me, like to me, from the kids and it might sound a bit daft but the last you know before I found fly a lady what would happen at Christmas was you know I'd be running around mad at the last minute trying to find the perfect gift for people and spending too much money and you know staying up late uh, with a hundred different rolls of um, wrapping paper and I wasn't enjoying, you know, the, the season. And when it came to unwrapping the gifts on Christmas Day, you know, the kids got huge piles of stuff and I'd bought for my husband and my mum and dad and, you know, family, friends. And I wouldn't get very many presents. Now, and this isn't to say, you know, I'm kind of greedy and I want presents. But the thing was, I hadn't, you know, told the family that, you know, I wanted, you know, I, I had a wish list of things because back then I didn't even know what I wished for myself. And, you know, it's really difficult for, for your family or your friends to buy for you if you, if you don't have any, you know, if you've kind of lost your spark and you don't know what makes you happy. So I know now what makes me happy. It's getting one of these books and I could read it right now, but I just love that thing of, you know, uh, just after Christmas, it's going to be really cold here in Copenhagen and I'm going to sit and I'm going to hooga. I'm going to have a, a cosy time reading this book, eating some chocolate. I'll have the blanket on me, the candles going. So what I, I want to emphasize to you today is I know it's a long way off until Christmas, but please, please start thinking between, you know, like now and the next month of little things that you can put on a wish list or even, you know, buy for yourself, wrap them up, you know, but please make a list of what it is and where you've hidden it uh, because it's a long time until Christmas. But just start to you know, kind of look around you, be aware of things, of your own, of, of things that make you happy. And, and I'm not talking about, you know, you need to go uh, and you're hoping that somebody will buy you like a diamond ring and a fur coat. I'm talking about the small daily pleasures, like a book by your favorite author, um, a DVD series that, you know, you can get on Netflix, but it's quite nice just to pull out the DVD on a day that you're not feeling good and put in like, you know, for me, an episode of Father Brown or Grant Chester or anything by Agatha Christie, anything like that. 
and other other small things like um, you know start being aware of what is your favorite smell do you like the smell of lavender do you like the smell of coffee and start you know making a list of you know of your favorite things you know and it can be colors it can be textures it can be the sea and um, nature because that is going to make you more aware of what you like i mean i've talked about this before this thing of we kind of lose track of ourselves because we've got the family we've got work going on we've maybe got um illness in our family or issues we, we lose track of the things that we like and it's really nice just to sit down and say you know what i like such and such type of flower so that when it comes to make like a little wish list for christmas you can say you know what i would like some chocolates which are coffee flavored or licorice flavored we have those in denmark and the danes are mad about licorice and um, you know or our little bar of um soap for yourself just to use in the shower of you know rose or green tea you know whatever it is just start being aware of it now and also when you are you know out doing your your errand day shopping you know once a week if you see something i don't know at the grocery store that costs like you know a pound you know 10 danish krona or uh, you know a dollar you know go ahead and when you come home like do it now uh, just wrap it up and you know put on a little label um you know two and then it can be whatever it is like i could say like two mum uh, lots of love from the kids or to my darling wife you know from my husband or to a great friend you know from from my best friend just have some fun with it because you know so often we just kind of with all these holidays and high days that come up we forget ourselves and part of the you know i love giving gifts but sometimes We've just got to take, you know, that 10 minutes of pamper time for ourselves or, you know, buy yourself a nice cup of coffee, you know, with whatever flavor you like. But just think, think about yourself just occasionally. All right. And, and it's all right to do that. That's not that's not a big problem. But the main, the main thing is if you do actually, you know, uh, wrap something up for yourself, just make sure that you start a list of where you've hidden it. You know, I, I keep, I tend to keep things uh, in a, a, a huge suitcase that we don't actually use for traveling because it, it's kind of too big. My, my son used it when he went to the States for the year. But I, I've started putting things in there because I've already picked up um, a couple of uh, teacher gifts that I just kind of spied when I was out uh, shopping in Copenhagen and I thought, oh, you know, there's, there's no need for me to wait until December or end of November to buy the gifts, I can get them now. But just make sure that you're writing down even what it is that you've bought and where you have, where you've hidden it, hidden it. Because you know what we're like, we're very scatterbrained and like in eight month, in eight weeks time, we're not gonna remember where anything is. And talking of that, you may want to keep your list in your um, Fly Lady um, holiday control journal. If you haven't printed that out yet, don't worry about it. I mean, we've still got time, but if you're kind of uh, bored and don't know what else to do at the moment, go and print it out. It's about 10, 15 pages long. I shall be showing you what I have in my, but this is my one and I've been using it, I think since 2007. And I kind of add things and I've got Christmas recipes and songbooks that we use at Christmas because in Denmark, we uh, before you open the gifts on the 24th in the evening after dinner you hold hands and dance around the christmas tree singing but anyway well, i'll tell you more about danish traditions later so you might want to print that out i'll put a link um, to the fly ladies holiday control journal in the information about the video and in the comments as well so you can't miss it um anyway so i'm, I'm gonna <laughs> i think i'll wrap this and just if you're out buying stuff just a little word of advice you don't need like all different holiday wrapping paper i always get kind of just generic 
plain wrapping paper that can go for any kind of season, uh, you know, I, I stick, to, stick to plain colours. And then of course you can add different coloured ribbons if you want to make it more fancy, but don't get perfectionist about it because then we get stuck in our tracks. And the other thing I've got here that's quite fun, you might want to see, this is some tape, uh, you know, ribbon, and I don't know if you can see what it says there, it says Go Yule, which is, I'm not sure if the camera can pick that up, uh, which is the Danish for Merry Christmas, and, and that's spelled G-O-D, God, and it's got nothing to do with God. Uh, go means uh, good, and Yule is a bit like Yuletide, uh, J-U-L, that means Christmas, so Go Yule. So if you see God Jul, that means uh, Merry Christmas in, in Danish. Uh, but also if you see, if you ever, if you're ever in Denmark and you see a, a sign on an elevator that said, that says God's elevator, it doesn't mean it's an elevator for God. It actually means it's some kind of freight. It's, it's a, you know, like a, a freight elevator. Gos means uh, freight. You, you also see, um, if, you, oh, I'll see if I can find it and post it on Instagram. Um, we have a lot of um, places here where you can, uh, what do you call it? Oh, hold on a minute, hold on. There's somebody ringing the doorbell. Yeah, sorry I'm back, it was the postman, but it wasn't a Christmas package. Um, yeah, we, we have, um, you know, storage uh, facilities and the name of that is uh, Ghost Hotel, which is uh, God's Hotel. So if, if you ever see God's Hotel here in Denmark, it's not a kind of divine place to stay, it's a storage thing. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here because I've been talking for about ooh, 12 minutes. I'm not normally here on a Saturday, but I just wanted to get that out there so that if you are out shopping with a family, just be aware of what you like, what you don't like, and give the family a chance to actually, you know, give you a present uh, this Christmas or whatever, you know, whatever you're celebrating. It, it's just a good habit to get into, all right? So anyway, that's it for me, uh, Diane in Denmark. I am going to wrap it up. Boom, boom, get it, wrap it, wrap it. And um, I'll be back soon talking about the um, Fly Ladies um, Holiday Control Journal and all the extra Christmas stuff. And you know what? It's less than 100 days to Christmas. Woo! Yeah. Okay, anyway, see you very soon. Live long and prosper.